But of course, it is officially time to start unpacking those winter woolies right now because a cold front that's been gradually lashing through the Cape is making its way across the, the rest of the country and will be hitting Gauteng this evening. And look, there aren't many good things about the wintry weather, but I think one potentially good thing to think about is the chance of snow. And with us on the line from the South African Weather Service with their predictions of where you might find some snow is Mbabi Maliage. Thank you very much for taking our call this morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Very how well, you? very well. Now, I understand that the Matrusberg Mountains in the Western Cape have already received their first sprinkling of snow, which is it's great to look at when you're flying overhead, but where else do you predict that there might be snowfall in the next couple of weeks? Um, well, we there's a, one, there's a watch out for um, snow that is expected over the high lying ground of the Eastern Cape, mm -hmm. um, and as well as the Drakensberg area. So we are expecting some disruptive snowfalls over that area. So um, that's for the next couple of days. As for the next couple of weeks, we'll just see how intense the systems that will pass through, how intense they are, and then we'll give a forecast as the time approaches. Yeah. And what about the cold tra temperatures that are going to be hitting Gauteng tonight? What, what can people in Gauteng expect? Yeah, they can expect quite a chill this evening. Um, we, we're not even expecting the temperatures to reach a maximum of 20 over Gauteng. So um, it's definitely going to be chilly tonight into tomorrow. Um, so people should really dress up warmly. Okay. And what about rainfall and flood warnings? Are there any that we should all be looking out for? Um, there's a warning out actually for heavy rain re leading to localized flooding um, expected today over the Overberg area, Eden, and Cape Winelands district of the Western Cape. Mm -hmm. So that's where we expect some heavy rainfall. Um, the Western Cape is the area that's really mostly affected with um, an 80% chance for showers and thunder showers expected um, for today. Yeah. And talk, talk to me a bit about the precautions that some people should take, especially with regards to these cold temperatures uh, and, and potential snowfall that's coming around. Um, well, obviously, you should really dress up um, more warmly than usual yeah. um, with the cold temperature expected. But also, especially for the Eastern Cape area, people should really um, listen out for, um, uh, especially with the snow that's coming, should listen out to um, the warnings that are being sent out, mm -hmm. as well as um, what the municipalities are saying with any snow, uh, with any passes that are being closed up as a result of the, of the snowfalls that are coming through. Indeed. Bobby, thank you very much for your time and for your insight this morning. My pleasure. Fantastic stuff. So yes, please make sure that you do keep warm wherever you are in the country. In fact, if you have been affected by the wintry weather, post a picture to our Facebook page and uh, with a bit of a comment and tell us how you are keeping warm. In fact, I'm wondering how Zoe's keeping warm during these cold temperatures.